Discord is invaluable. Your day is on May 31st. So join us on the Discord. Make sure your Twitch and your Discord are linked. Make sure your sub is active come sub day so that we can get everybody all of their sub day benefits for when the time comes. I'm going to jump straight into the game because we're late and I feel like shit and hopefully this will make me feel better. So we're going to jump into control today and see what the what is. This is right where we left off. We met with Arish, Simon Arish. We talked to him about everything there was to talk about. We got this chest back here. We arrived in... Here comes the director. Maintenance. We're gonna get the, the power area, which is very much hiss controlled. Director Faden. We didn't really look around out here when we came in. Because they were like, go report to Arish immediately. So, that's what we did. We need to do some quest for Ati. And we need to turn the power back on so that we don't all die. I really hope there's not a time limit on that because we spent all night not going that. <laughs> there's a shelter over here. This might have some good loot in it. And then we'll go from there. Good morning, guys. I also need to try out the shotgun mode because some people wanted me to do that. So we'll be doing that too as soon as we can. Grab this chest. Threshold remnant. Nice. Hey, Star Dancer. Welcome in. Not going that way. At least not yet. Okay. What's back here? Not a lot. do going up here jesse says oh control or not jesse the spinny thing says control point good job kit you did it press the wrong button a picture of a morning star would just be star with a cat on her face reaching desperately for a cup of coffee I almost said no hiss yet, and then I saw those motherfuckers. All right. Now I meant the weapon. Ah, yes. Friends, come down here and say hello to me. You won't. Because you're a bunch of cowards. That's right, I said it. The Hiss are a bunch of cowards. Excuse? We've got Banelings! Banelings coming in. Sure! That one got around behind me. So the hits have a baneling mode. Good to know. I played enough StarCraft to know where this is going. What's next? Hydralisks? Oh shit. Shotgun mode. Not very useful against Banelings. Star says, hey, my cat sleeps on top of my head, not my face. The rest is accurate. Well, there you go. NSC coolant pumps. Okay. We definitely need to go here. It did say groups of enemies. True. But it also said close range. AMA. 
and banelings plus close range equals not great. Had to check. If we go back to the control point, restore health. We've got half health. We're fine. For the moment. Said the fox before dying horribly. Okay. Good job, Kit. You did it. <clears throat> I admit I may not have noticed my health before Ayumi said something, but we're fine. I don't know what you did, Miss Faden, but you certainly did it. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Ah! Furnace chamber. Perfect. Burn the trash around the furnace. I'm assuming this is it? Did Atim barrels full of hazardous biological material? Yes. I think I whiffed the furnace. My name is Dr. Hughes, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself, right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Uh-oh. It seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but... If that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Bop. Cleaning up the hazardous biomat. Mac biomat. Okay. Cleaning up the. Wow, that's a lot. All right, do that. Or are these empty? Because they're not glowing like the first one was. Yeah, see, that one's glowing, this one isn't. So I'm guessing this one's not gonna count. That's a big 10-4, good buddy. All right. Get only the ones that count. 
Hey, Savior. Welcome in. How are things in the land of Savior today? Do, do, do. Oh. Well. You. Mail tube complaint. Oh, we got a new hits file. Let's do this first. Compiled by Emily Pope, research spe specialist, by order of director Jesse Faton. Field research on his entity, hits charged agent confidential. Summary. The hits charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from the hits corruption. His charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specified proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hissed essence, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charge is depleted of the hiss corruption. After this eruption, the host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charge are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the residents. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original forms? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to file blank for full report. Federal Bureau of Control. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery, and that if I don't get have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we have to use these fucking tubes if they just spill, spit our mail out in some other damn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint and useless pieces of shit, Rodriguez. And then there's the furnace research. Does this add anything? Sometimes they do. Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. I believe that I've discovered a code omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself, right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. So no, nothing new there. Sometimes they have new stuff, sometimes they don't. Safety Gaming says I'm doing good. Hope I haven't missed anything too much. No, you didn't. You just missed that audio log, the text logs that we just read, and the fact that we found the giant fuck-off furnace with which we need to burn the trash. Like so. That's it. We haven't really done much else. We found some banelings, bought some banelings, cleared our control point, and now we're here. One more somewhere. That's the recording we just got. There's a chest. Find out. You think you saw it down? We'll see. I don't think this is the boy because it doesn't have the symbol on it, but maybe. Yeah. Nope, not that one. Are you 
you the boy? Nope. Are you the boy? Doesn't look like it. It's deforming from the force of our telekinetic grab. That's pretty cool. I'm into it. Are you the trash? No. I don't see it. Maybe I'm blind and stupid. I'm certainly blind and stupid, but what else is new? Okay. Ooh. There is an up. Can I can I do the up? Sort of? Hey Wonder Viking, welcome in. Where is this last? I roofed one and it like went somewhere stupid. Amy seems convinced that it's down. Okay, we'll go down and look. I said we'll go down and look. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Not these boys. I don't see it. I continue to be blind and stupid. Not those. Is the one in the back? No. I do not see it. It's probably in that middle area, and I'm just a dingus. Is there a barrel in the big melted cooler found the wall? Maybe? Good call. No, but there is a- yes there is, and there's also a locked door. Good call, Winter Viking. timing because I need to go AFK. Unfortunately, I'm still sick and I need to go deal with some being sick nonsense. So I will be back in just a second. Stick around, guys.
I'm back. Thank you for your patience, guys. Sorry about that. The good news is I feel many better. The bad news is that was awful. That was awful across the board. Uh, I think I've got it out of my system, though. Hooray. Uh, speaking of getting it out of our system, we just uh, dealt with the furnace. I think our only other quest is... I mean, we gotta, like, do the Dark Girl override, but... We gotta kill enemies in the executive sector, where in the maintenance sectors, so we don't need to worry about that right now, and then... We gotta fix the coolant pumps and stuff. Fresh at least you're feeling better. Yeah. Okanux is just joining. Are you okay? Yes and no. I think I ate some bad beef. Um, I'm fine in the sense of my overall health, as far as I know. I'm not fine in the sense of... I ate some bad beef last night, and this morning has not been fun. That's why the stream started late. It's why I had to get up right then. So you had a beef with your meat? Yeah, apparently. Ugh. But I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm back. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Working on it, Miss Faden. How the deuce? Do I get up there? I'm gonna get like a sonic level jump power or something, I imagine. Done. Not done. Music is still going. You bitch, sneaking around behind me. The hits are rude, man. There we go. More? Where you at, bitches? Oh, shit. Hi. You with bitches. Cool. Now we're done. Uh, we gained viewers while I was gone. Thank you guys for being here. I'm very, very sorry about that. I'm going to get through as much of control as I can today. Despite being sick, we're just going to keep right on rolling. Oh, you missed Birch Me Line. I noticed your thing was we did the furnace submission. There was an audio log and a text log there that you missed. And there was a new enemy type. That was it. Give me the box that I want, not the box that I don't. Thank you. Bah. Oh, God. Really? I was about to say. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. Why am I trying to use that on those guys? No clue. No. Stairs, the most powerful enemy in video games. Bitch. Are we done? No, we're not done. No. Are we done now? Yes. Cool. It's a whole lot of these power core cubes around here. The hiss barrier is still up, so we're not done. Oh, God. Rush Milo says pizza get. Nice. We got a few more ability points for the garbage disposal quest. I mean, it was absolutely a quest. Savior. Hey, Savior, since you're noticing stuff anyway, would you mind, if you're here, would you mind to ping me when I get a, um, a codex update? Because I've missed a couple. 
that we've found later. Thankfully, I check the codex frequently, but I've missed originally getting them. And I would very much like to not do that. What kind of pizza you got, Gracie? Where is that thing? There it is. That's easier. Okay. Sit down. You as well. Are we done? Not done. Dunk. back get all those ritual impulses the hiss barrier is still up three cheese pizza nice I have found the three cheese pizza is often overkill like there should already be three cheeses on a good pizza and three cheese pizzas in my experience just throw in too much sometimes of those three cheeses but, you likes what you likes, and that's okay. I will defend your right to like three cheese pizza. Maybe I've just had bad three cheese pizza, that's possible. Hello, friend. What? Shit, what now? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking your virus. The old enemy? You need to deal with that shit, man. Nice. He's trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the fist. Oh! It's the enemy from Dead Space 1. Alright. I'm into it. Wow. There was some health back here. I'm gonna go get it. Because apparently the clog is a bitch. New mods or codex files? Yeah. I mean, I care more about the codex files than the mods. Because we'll get to the mods eventually. Like, when we unlock stuff or we're ready to, like, advance the main story. We'll get to the, the mods. But the codex files we should look at immediately. Because it might tell us how to beat stuff. Which is always useful. Some help down here. So apparently running in and shooting the clog is not the way to do that, so... Can I bring this with me? Yes, I can. Cool. Jesse Faden, doing more harm to the thing while trying to fix the thing. Hashtag, we did it, Patrick. We saved the city. What the hell is that? It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Okay. There's a chest in there. Gross. Gross. Bush Miller says, why does this thing remind me of those giant flushable wipe clouds? Probably because it's based on those. Those things will clog the fuck out of your system. Back he goes. Gross.
Nope, not going that way. Am I? Nope, not going that way. Alright. What's over here? Nothing. Other side? What's up? You do need to clear that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ew, that's disgusting. Yeah, we did. Chase the thing that's working on it. We do it. Da 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 da. Anyway. Together a little longer. There go the pipes. There we go. Nothing more satisfying than manual labor. More hiss heresy. More hair hissy, if you will. There's a large man coming down that elevator. That large man has a minigun. body shots for the moment and staying the hell away from that minigun headshots do hurt him but his minigun is awful Got him. His trooper. I saw that one. Compiled by Emily Pope, research specialist by order of director Jesse Faden. Field research on his entity, his corrupted trooper. Confidential summary. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWEs, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. Oh good, they get worse. In addition to their already form formidable FBC-issued armor, the Hiss resident surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that to the te telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Refer to file blank for full report. Okay. Virtual says that boy would be more tanky if Jesse picked up a fire extinguisher. You're not wrong. It wants me to go this way. Is the his barrier down now? Yes, it is. Okay. On we go. Did we check back here for notes? We didn't get a lot in this area, which makes me think I missed, like, six notes. Whoops. Let's go. Starting to feel better, friends. Hooray!
I think I might have a cheese pizza for lunch today. Gunshots. Oh, fuck. on Simon. behind me. They love getting around behind me with that. What's that big guy? Where you at, big guy? I have a present for the you. Donk! Mark it on the calendar. We're done here. You know what, Keepers? Let's give out 50 XP for quest completion. So 50 XP for the furnace thing, 50 XP for the uh, coolant pumps. Let's just do that. That seems like a good thing to do. There doesn't seem to be a lot of bosses. Maybe I'm wrong. Crew feels a lot safer when you're around. Nothing new. Okay. I should be going. Right. You got a lock down the lift. We're gonna get through. Cool. So I guess we just keep right on moving then. All right. Let's head over this way now. Hello, boys. First science. Can I pick this up? No. No, I cannot. Shot on either side of his head like four times. Hey Jacko, welcome on in. Good to see you, dude. Playing some control today while I'm sick, but getting through it all the same. How are things in the land of Mac Jackal Ranger today? Good to see you, dude. Keepers, if we could put the spotlight on Mac Jackal Ranger, please, I would appreciate it. Central maintenance. That's not where we want to go. We want to go to the NSC energy converters, which means there might be something interesting over here. But first, let's look around for potential secrets. Always be looting. Always. Alright, to central maintenance we go. We want to go to central maintenance? What does that say? 
Before we go to central maintenance, what does that say? Energy converters. That's where we need to go. Okay. What's this? This is elevator. Ah. Okay. Cool. Let's go to central maintenance first. Shackle says things are okay. Woke up and got some sun, only to find out I had to track down dogs who got out. Found them thankfully good. Sorry you had to deal with that, but I'm glad that you got through it. Those look important. Let's hit them with sticks and stones. I know there's a door back there. I'm gonna go through it just a second. I wanna break these first, because that looks important. I do it. Okay. Two doors back here, actually. Bathrooms. Always check them. I'm sorry, have a migraine, Yumi. Whoa, this is swanky, comparatively speaking. Low health boost weapon mod, okay. Checking all the bathrooms. Checking all the bathrooms. Okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, Yumi. I know I, I fidget my camera a lot. Thresholds. Compiled by Carla Vaughn, research specialist by order of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Examination of paranatural topics, thresholds. Summary. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a redacted frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, calls us redacted in those who learn of it, so is actively denied. Refer to file 505-1881 for full report. Oh yeah, I turned the, uh... I turned the motion blur off for most games that I play, but I feel you, Celtic. Bunch of, uh, recording devices. Okay. Please recycle. Office rules of conduct speak at a moderate volume. No personal calls, no food or drink around bureau documents or the copy room. No use of, no use of the photocopier for personal projects. Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential, confidential objects out loud. The one to finish the coffee makes a new one. Okay. Copy. Copy. Review. Cool. What does that say? FRR 1500. That's probably important for something. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everyone's safety depends on you. Jackal says, I think I could poison the hiss with my motion sickness. Or with my brain chemistry, pardon me. Chat moved. So, so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all? Or? I always did love obstacle courses. Okay, Ranger Training Course.
What is this? What did we get? Field agent actor complaint. Federal Bureau of Control. I'd like to file a formal complaint regarding the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that I did not agree on. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of those recordings. I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. I will go to HR with this if necessary. Signed, Randall Pulaski. Well, Pulaski, no. Let's go. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Oh, come on. 45 seconds remaining. Damn it. Come on. Thirty seconds remaining. Goes in there. That goes in there. Fifteen seconds remaining. Oh shit. Seconds remaining. Try again, Ranger. Wow. Okay. We'll probably get an achievement for beating it in a certain amount of time. But we also might get loot, so. Get ready, Ranger. People always first talk about not getting five, the course on the first try. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Go. You know what? Fuck this. I'm using the shotgun. Come on, really? Yep, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll wait. I'm not gonna get it. Try again, Ranger. That is crazy how fast you have to go. Yeah, I wonder how they expect Rangers to do this without the ability to chuck boxes, right, Gracie? Get ready, Ranger. I'm doing this. This is happening. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Go, Jesse. Damn. To go through there. Fuck you, awkward voice recording. <laughs> Fuck you, awkward voice recording. 
Okay, well that proves that I can do it, so I just need to do it now. Ranger. Horse starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Seconds remaining. Come on. Thirty seconds remaining. Oh, fuck off. Seconds remaining. Work complete. Congratulations, Rainer. Yes, this go. isn't usually part of the course. Okay, what did we get? It's protecting itself. We need to hit it harder to break that shield. We got a safe. All right. Okay, how do I shield? Not that. Hold L1 to shield. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So kind of you to join. Blessed Raven with the host. Welcome in, Blessed Raven. Good to see ya. How are things in the land of Blessed Raven today? We can make our own cover. That's pretty great. Blessed Raven says, just off work, enjoying a slice of cheesecake while working on a commission crochet project. Nice. That's pretty cool. I like this. Good time to have a shield. Utilize that to get from cover to cover, that's great. What? Oh, dicks. I didn't see him. 15. Savior Gaming says, first we rip thing out of the ground, then we rip about 25 pieces out of the floor. Yes. I was wondering where that guy went, but I thought the guy that I shotgunned down was that guy. I didn't realize it was a guy on my left. Whoops. It's fine. I wonder if you can use the shield and melee at the same time. Maybe. We could certainly try it. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Do I still have my shield? It would help if I press the correct button. Yes, I do still have my shield. Okay, cool. Go ahead and heal up. 
We have eight abilities. Nice. Okay. More health. I'm just going to go down this tree first. I know that's not the most interesting thing to people, but... Frankly, we need it. Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Yes. Take that as well. Great. Astral constructs. Weapon forms. Upgrade grip. We can. Construct spin. We need more source. Spin has a generous magazine, a high rate of fire, best used in controlling in controlled burst. Ah. Mm, not really interested in that. I want like a carbine thing. I keep forgetting to do this. Whoops. Um Upgrade. I need 5,000 swords. Okay. Cool. Take a look at our loadout. We have a new mod slot. That's great. Uh, Shatter is currently equipped. What do we have here? Goes to spin. Reload speed. Damage after a kill. Straight damage. Let's do that. Sure. Personal mods. I've still got 25% health, which I'm not really willing to give up yet. We have a lot more health now, though. That's a plus. Keep right on moving. Looks like Blessed Raven's going on adventure, so good luck, everybody who goes with him. For science. No, I cannot use melee and shield. Hey, Treskare, welcome in. Wait, I have more skill trees? Hang on. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I have shield skill tree now as well. Ah. But I'm going to focus on launch for a bit. Launch and health, because those are the two things that I use the most. This is not where I need to be at the minute. Hello, boys. Amy says, when you have an enemy close to you, but don't have them in your field of vision, there's an indicator on your cursor. Is there? Very good to know. Thank you. Jessica says, I'm still catching up on the VOD from yesterday, but didn't want to miss today's stream. Luckily, you're not going to miss too much today, Trace, because I'm sick and I have to keep running to the bathroom. Not pleasant. We were working our way through central maintenance. Head back in here. Is there anything else in the field training area? We didn't look over here at all. Answer, no. That's all empty though, so it's fine. All right, we got our new power. Great. Let's see what else we can find in this area before we go to the area that we're supposed to go to. Black rock processing. That sounds important. That is the executive elevator? Yeah, sector elevator. Okay. We'll worry about this in a bit. Let's go do our actual mission first. There's almost like an arrow in the direction of the enemy on the cursor. Awesome, Ayumi. Thank you. It's fine, Trisker. Any day I can stream is a good day, and I'm feeling better than I was at the start of the stream. I just gotta wait for the gross to run its course, and then we'll be fine. The, the Octane! Have a seat by the fire. Together a little longer. 
Order a drink and put your feet up. Let a keeper know if there's anything at all that you need, and please enjoy the foe. Cho. Sorry. Please enjoy the foe as well. Thank you very much for that follow the octane, and if you're so inclined, tell us of your travels, my friend. I am the sharp-eyed Kitsune, the teller of tales and the weaver of mysteries, the masked bard. This is a channel that is devoted to lore and storytelling, world-building, role-playing, and discussions of those things. So if that's to your fancy, you're an excellent company here, and if it's not, I completely understand. What I do isn't to everyone's taste, but I do hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you choose to spend that day. And thank you for stopping by. We're going in here. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old twig pants. That has a shit fit. The old twig pants inside the plant has a fit. Pardon me? Oh shit, hi! Get that off the screen so I can see what I'm doing, thank. Before the old twig pants in the power plant has a fit. Buster Raven says the voice. Was that German or Russian? Finnish, actually. That's Ati, the janitor. Hey, well done on the venture, Buster Raven. Better luck next time, everybody else. Where are you at? Sup? I'll look at my codex and, well, when I'm out of combat. I don't want to do it right now. Not when I'm getting smuggledorfed by all these guys. Nope. Nope. I still hear combat music. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Take a look at our codex as soon as I pick this up. Let's see what we got. First of all, got a bunch of stuff in the loadout, right? Second of all, damn, we got a lot. Okay. Home Safe Tests, compiled by Emily Pope, Research Specialist by Order of Helen Marshall, Director of Operations. Utilization of paranatural elements uh, munitions testing on OOP-22, a.k.a. Home Safe. Summary. The safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or material from its immediate vicinity. See... OOP-22 case file for more details. Bureau Rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a para-utilitarian bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's durability. Redacted and redacted velocity ammunition were tested with redacted results. Testing will continue after redacted. The safe object of power is clearly a valuable candidate for use in combat response scenarios. Allowing para-utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering. Refer to eight, uh, file 8538367 for full report. Case files. Home safe. ID home safe OOP 22 KE acquisition date 11 28 2014. Containment location redacted. Home safe OOP 22 KE containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description para utility. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measures measurements vary. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bound by redacted. Background. Discovered in the basement of a home in Redacted, Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. 
Bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from a seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object to indicate that something is trapped inside. Though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. So it has organs and shit? That's terrifying. Okay. Welcome back, Amy. I thoroughly look this area over because it's been a bit since we've picked up some stuff. It's a psychic mimic. Yeah, pretty much. But on the plus side, it allows us to do this, which is kind of great. Looking around, step by step, piece by piece, and we continue on. Here's a shelter. Take a look in here. I'm waiting for one of these to just be full of banelings. That would be... Completely on brand and completely awful. I didn't close that. Celtic Wolf says rock shield. Excuse? You have rockets, friend. Wait a minute. Boy, have rocket. Where you at? Rocket Man! How do I miss every single shot? Good job, kid. You did it. Hello? Somebody wants to get dead. Rude. Rude, 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 rude. Come on. Come on. Show me your head. Show me your face. Thank you. Nope. Show me your face. Dunk. Got him. Act. Pay attention, kid. Pay attention to the rocket. Dunk. There we go. Are we done? I know I'm a dumbass who took my eyes off the rocketeer, but are we done? Yes. Good. Okay. You. I require you. Get in there. Okay. Go get this live. Didn't we get suck at something with rockets with launch sign? I guess we did. It would help if I wasn't stupid. Winter Viking says, is that safe, safe? <laughs> safe to use, excuse me. The answer is no, it's not. Special delivery! We're having a barrel of fun. I am having entirely too much fun throwing things at bad guys' heads, Celtic Wolf, yes. To be fair, they deserve it. They're shooting at me. probably missed one somewhere like a dingus yeah there's three levels all right power car I require you we're going down oh god I went too far 15 <clears throat> I went down too far. The good news is there is a down more. The bad news is there is also a too far down. Are we adding that to the lexicon chat? 
Are, are we are we adding too far down to our lexicon now? We have up more, down more, and now we have a too far down. I'm down for it. Where are we at? Ah, right where we want to be. Also, there's that room that I didn't notice the first time through, but it's full of that gas that we can't do anything with. Savior Gaming 19 says, Control so far. Kit throwing everything at enemies and chat making jokes slash puns. I mean, yes. And? Ah. Email for you. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better one. <clears throat> As per the attachments of my last email, there we go. Time for your quarterly report. I sincerely wish, hey you me that what you're doing right there was more helpful. I know what you're trying to do, but because of stream delay, it is not at all helpful. Thank you, though. Huh. Fragile must be Italian. Anyone else? There we go. Let's go lift the lockdown. Come on, I ducked. Blessed Raven, it seems someone on the court has their eye on you. I've got your invitation right here. The table is waiting, my friend. Welcome back to the masquerade where the party never stops. And you'll always find good friends beneath overflowing goblets. Thank you, Trace for your continued support. Gifting 111 subs to the channel. And thank you, Blessed Raven, for your subscription. It's support the that allows me to do this every day for you guys. Cheers. What did I even pick up? What is this thing? Return to sender. Yeah. We go in here now. Yes. Captain Gold says, duck, dodge, weave, is that what Kid is trying to do? Yes. I can also, like, duck behind cover. I just keep forgetting to do it. Yeah, launch efficiency. I've already got launch efficiency. Um, I don't, what I don't have is a lot of mod slots, so. We'll see. There's not a duck OOP, says Birchmila. Stay tuned, friend. All I'm gonna say on that regard. Lift the internal lockdown using the directorial override. Okay. Electricity level green, water level green. Nice. They probably stack, but I don't have a lot of uh, space.
upcoming game reminder next game is wednesday at eight usual spot hazard owes me twenty dollars arish still on a fucking winning streak someone please figure out how he's cheating thompson suspended for game because of that shady dealing incident guy i owe you sixty dollars i brought beers last time so it's hepston stall's turn remus NSC control room. All right. Sup? Where you at? 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 There you are. Got him. Get this health back, get into a better position. How did you even get behind me? Unless you spawned back there. In which case, dicks. Trisker says, correction, you don't have a lot of space yet. I'm not certain I get more, frankly. It looks like I get, like, three mod slots total. Ooh, got a new hotline. Forces contained. The lockdown would only be lifted by a directorial. This is what we came here to do. I agree. We came here to find out what Trench had to say. So much is expected from the director. But the responsibility, the privilege, to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach. And the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing else around here before we lift the lockdown. There's our exit. I'm just concerned that if I lift the lockdown, something terrible will happen. What does that say? A stapler or an altered item? All right. Pneumatic tube checklist. Place your items in the canister. Add foam padding from top and bottom if you're sending blood or other specimens in a glass tube. Check that the canister is properly locked. Place the locked canister in the tube. Check the location code for the destination. Punch in the code and send the tube. Read and understand operator's manual. Okay. Don't take off this equipment outside of the building. Okay. Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. Excuse you. Sp 
spinning out of control? Yes. Okay, sure. Thank you. Acoustic guitar for sale. Uh, turns out it's... Wait, what? Uh, acoustic guitar for sale. Turns out it's pretty hard. If interested, see Greg in maintenance. Nice. Reminder to all staff. Food left in the refrigerator in containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Socks and ballerinas live at the oldest house. Okay. Book club. Nice. Uh, let's see. Remember to wash your hands. Your hands can spread the mold. What? That's terrifying. Your hands can spread the mold. Okay. Dude. What? <laughs> Please recycle. You want to recycle the stuff in the oldest house? I don't think that's a good idea, friend. Don't bring a dog? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, let's lift this lock down. And Tomasi base boss fight. You use the gun to lift the override? That's cool. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. All right. Maybe we get to find out what spinny thing is. I know. Ventilation, janitor's office, sector elevator. Oh! Now I know where we are. Okay, cool. Jackal says, I'm bringing an ermine, not a shotgun, where I work at the oldest house. I mean, just to clarify. I mean, I think... You would fit right in with this place, Jackal. This place seems like your jam. Can't get in there yet. This is not what was here before, but all right. Executive. That is lovely, but as far as I know, we've never worn that outfit. So terrifying. What did that say? Have you seen us missing persons? Are those devs? Probably. We did. You lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Any files on the table? 
There was a file on the table last time, so had to check. What does this board say? Wait a minute. Ah, it's more math. Unfortunately, I don't speak math. That's a shame. We got that chest already. Is the Pope Mr. Catholic? No. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. Now we have a name. As in Polaris. a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain hmm. your test results. Test your results? Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. One was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Clearance level three. Hell yeah. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. Oh, here we go. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Okay, sure. Do I have new stuff? 
Hi, Jesse. Yes. Okay. Let's talk. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? He's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought of a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Tell me about the building shifts. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. At one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? We read, that was one of the first things we picked up, so. Also, uh, a puzzle in Resident Evil. What exactly do you do, Emily? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Interesting. Uh, what about the Ocean View Motel? The dreamscape, literally? What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. So, DLC? What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What, uh, no. Mm. What, I mean, you mean physically? Yes, physically. No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just, wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Thanks, Emily. See you soon. Be careful out there. What in the actual fuck? All right. All right, so. We got a new hotline? Wait a minute. The hiss, okay. Okay. 
You must shut up them. Thank you, board. Can do. Alright, let's check our power-ups. Can I get more health? Yes, I can. Great! Additional personal mod slot unlocked. Oh, goody. Need four for that. Need one for that. More energy? Sure. Natural constructs. Nothing new there yet. Although... 15,000 for spin. Uh, do I want to do this? I can't do it. I don't have enough house memories. Uh, okay. Let's go here. Load out. Reload speed is good. Do I have anything better? Energy gain from headshots. Eh. Reload speed. Damage while low on health. Meh. I do have another mod slot now. Launch efficiency 10%. Evade energy costs 8%. Health recovery per element pickup plus 26%. That's not bad. 18% more health. Just double up on the health. It's probably ridiculous for right now, but I would rather not get destroyed. We are now level 3. Clearance level 3, that is. Do we have... There was something we saw that was clearance level 3, and I think it was in this area. It wasn't this, was it? Hang on. Hang on. Yes, it was. It was this. Great. Alright. America Overnight Results. That's that radio show that we had a recording of. I scrolled right past it like a dingus. Compiled by Remy Dennis, a chief investigator, by order of Director Zachariah Trentz. Results overview the America Overnight Program. Summary. The America Overnight Program has operated successfully for over redacted years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of Redacted and Redacted in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more redacted results of Night Springs has been cataloged in a separate report. Refer to file redacted for full report. So, the Bureau runs America Overnight. Now, granted, we probably knew that already? But, energy boost, wait a minute. 9% energy or 18% health? I'll keep the health, thanks. And this is by the Alan Wake devs. Don't let mold hit your ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. Can do. Can we get some information about this freaking jukebox yet? Guess not. I did mention this game was comp was uh, comparable to Alan Wake, Jackal. You might have missed that. Okay. So what quests do we have currently? We have kill enemies in the executive sector with headshots and normally... We've got maintenance targets, go to the NSC energy converters, and we've got old boy club. Okay, let's track that. Let's go see what the board wants us to do, if it has anything relevant to our interests. Charge maneuvers, we don't have charge. 
strategic target mold host don't have exactly and charge charge me if we don't have charge okay um let's just go well, shoot some dudes oh this only has 13 minutes this is timed okay oh wait is that hang on there are there's timed side missions in this game and they're not important they don't really do anything they just kind of pop up randomly so i'm not gonna worry about that that's like if you want to keep playing after you beat the game or you need to get some xp those will help you out but uh we do need to kill some of these bros oh we can get in here now as well which is great i think at some point soon we're gonna go through every place we've been and do the great door opening of 2020 because we have clearance now But first, there were some bros in here that we could not deal with because we did not have the power of this. Bop. So we're gonna deal with these guys. Good job, kid. Jerk. Got him. No. No. How does no grab you? Let's go with no. Excuse me? Really? Got him. Really? Oh my shit. No. Oh my god, there we go. That took entirely too long. I somehow managed to miss every shot repeatedly. We have not been down here, friends. Excuse? Ooh. New thing. Virtual says Jesse's already in the middle of the Great Wall opening of 2020. Yes. Havana summary. ID AWE 48, event date 9-23-2017, event location Havana, Cuba. Havana AWE 48 event summary. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Uh, redacted deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off, and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the bureau for examination see case file a185 for details which we do not have access to yet okay we're not going in there yet That'll do for now. Let's go find Marshall. We'll give these guys time to respawn anyway.
That headshots one is gonna take me ages. Absolutely ages. What does that say? Wait a minute. Avoid modern technology. Synchronicity, re synch synchronicity research department. Okay. Still haven't found Tomasi. Oh, we, we completed that maintenance quest, though. 50 XP for that. Completely forgot. All right, let's go. To research. Research is probably going to give us so much information. I'm excited. Research sector. Excuse me. While the his, his invasion is the imminent threat, it is not the only danger in the oldest house. Oh, good. Good. So we're going to meet some more bullshit. we got new area hype friends first things first Let's make sure we can't get through that okay central research brightwind ain't throwing a hundred bits into my hat thank you brightwind for your continued support it's support like that that allows me to do this every day for you guys cheers multimedia sector research what did i get oh Oh, cool. Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> so here's a question for you guys. Who do you like better? Dr. Casper Darling, head of research, or the bro from Creo, from The Surge. Who do you like better? For me, it's a toss-up. I like them both, which is not helpful, I know, but I'm curious what you guys think. Map of the research sector. Para uh, sector. Parakinesiology Astral ex Exhibition. Oh, good. Hypnosis Lab, Extrasensory Lab, Luck and Probability, Protective Studies, and Synchronicity Lab. Oh, good. Okay. Don't remember the dude from The Surge, says Birchmila? Oh, that's a shame. That dude was awesome. Treska says it's a toss-up. Absolutely. Celtic says, question, why? what is everyone's favorite fruit ice cream? Like, I have been getting... A lot lately, Dairy Queen's Raspberry Blizzard, and because it's my grandma's favorite fruit, I kind of grew up on raspberries. Banana for me. Brightwind says, I don't remember the Creo guy. Been too long, but this guy's pretty funny. Jackal says, Creo bro is a millennial stereotype, IMO. Doc, on the other hand, while a bit of a nerd, has some weight if he tries to throw a brain. I mean, I guess. Safer Gaming says, how the fuck do they do science and luck? We'll have to find out. Is the answer to that. Plant complaint.
plant complaint. Here we go. Hey, so I was just researching about the plant. I'm wondering about the re re yeah. Let me try that again. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted, and people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. I hate to say it, but I'm, I can't dismiss what Dr. Lewis just said, given everything we know about this game. What does this say? Shoebox notes. Some notes. I think, I think I've stumbled onto something here. Only notes, early hypothesis now, further tests needed. Shoebox. Retrieve from ordinary, oh god. Uh... Potential altered item, not flagged. AW in the lab, everything... Everything something but the shoebox and contents. We recreated the event, same result. Okay. Recreated it with a different shoebox uh, from home, same result. Shoeboxes can't be altered? Why, how, a loophole? We could use this. Summary, uh, summer, referring to ordinary 2012, AWB 2002, Samantha Wells repopulation ongoing in the town um, blog this house of dreams FBC alerted contents point to Thomas Zane refer uh, reference Bright Falls AWE 1970 summer of 2010 uh, fall connected AWEs uh, who took the shoebox we are in the middle of test here bring it back idiots all right sure Everything affected. Thank you, chat. Whenever I can says the one running the the, uh, the cowboy arena and serves quite funny. That's Rishboder. I'm not talking about Rishboder. I'm talking about the guy who did Trent's job in that game. Synchronicity. Penned by Dr. Theodore Ash, head of research, by authority of not available. Oh, this is an old one. A glimpse into paranatural synchronicity and the unseen connections. Introduction. The synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen cords and wonder the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road, now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce redacted behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Refer to file redacted for full report. All I'm going to say is remember that name, Theodore Ash. That comes up a lot later. Hello? Okay, sup? I just needed to wait until my launch recharge, or my gun recharge, rather. Yeah, about that. <laughs> there was another one. There was a second one. 
heck. There we go. Intrusive pattern material gain. Bright one says, you've been benched. Good one. What's up? Come on. Oh my fuck. No. Did I get him? I panicked through one. I think I might have got him. The music is still going, but... I'll take it. Got his ass. Whoa. Well, those certainly look like science. Case files. Emergency call summary. ID AW18, event date 6 1993 event location not available. Event summary, a possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. Event is notably similar to AWE redacted in which redacted. Event response, event is believed to have been caused by redacted and as a result the following measures have been taken to prevent redacted. Redacted, redacted, redacted. Thanks? You know what? I'm gonna throw science at these fools. Sup? Science! I whiffed. By the power of science! There we go. Job missing every single shot, kid. You did it. Best day. Best at this game. Best. I get him. Really? Okay. You know what, buddy? You're just being a dick now. Pop your head out. Fixed it. Don't worry, guys. I fixed it. It's fine. Excuse? Thank you. And you. And you. Parapsychology. That's where we need to go. Excuse me? Uh, once again, I'm busy putting out the fires. <clears throat> Let's take out the trash. Trying to build up a foundation here. But these guys just keep walking all over me. <sighs> Guess we gotta clean up. We done. Heck. There is so much to explore. We're not going to parapsychology yet. Right one says you're stone cold when you come to these guys. Good one.
Savior Gaming says, hey, kid, his sniper codex thing. Great. We'll look at that in a minute. I just want to make sure there's not any more. Those are redwood trees. Wait a minute. How did you get those in here? <laughs> Wait a second. How did you get... How did... How did... Okay, then. Compiled by Emily Pope, research specialist by order of director Jesse Faden, field research on his entity, his corrupted sniper, confidential. Summary, bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance, using the telltale searchlights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from their target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat and the hiss snipers are well aware of how to use it refer to file redacted for full report and your says are you really asking how something got into the olden house because you're not going to get an answer that's fair that's fair dr darling's office oh we're going to check that out in just a second what's over here Dimensional research. What the dicks? Is that a portal? Oh god. Uh, nope. 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 They have a cave troll. Not dealing with it. Dr. Darling's office. Questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Research note, resident theory. We'll watch that properly in just a second. I'm gonna grab all of these notes. Good lord, what the hell? Okay. What the fuck? I cannot make heads or tails of any of that. Oh, this looks important. This looks extremely important now that the others just fell off. Wait a minute. This is good. This is good. This becomes this. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Can we chat? Chat, I'm going to need your help. This is important somebody please screenshot this save it something because we're gonna need this i think i have a feeling we're gonna need this let me know when you got it Also, my sick is passing. I feel better. Hooray. More notes. Got all kinds of stuff in Darling's office. Okay. What is this? Adaptive processes. No, op no opportunity for heat transfer. Uh, no time to equalize. H2O... Condenses rain. Linear regression. Data tables. Leah Reg catalyst. Data table. Transform data. Log, I guess. What does this even mean? Compare. Exponential regression, linear regression, residuals. Okay. 
Library regulation that's coding, says Tracecare. That's Greek to me, friend. Got stuff hanging from the ceiling in that same shape. Whatever Darling is researching, it's this this cuboid thing. What is the name on this? Emily Pope, that's what I thought. I was like, this is not the same person. There's all this stuff from Emily Pope. All right, we're gonna hang out over here and check out all of the stuff that we picked up. Step one, HRAs. I've been fielding questions recently Regarding HRAs. He looks exhausted. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? I fuck. He looks exhausted. Well done, Dev. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. <laughs> we do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as, uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. <laughs> And he says A plus modeling. That's actually a full motion video. <laughs> That's a dude in a suit, Amy. But it's still well done. Darling, budget request. To Casper Darling from A. Lewis. Subject, parakinesiology budget. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague, Dr. Harrington, has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss and no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of a single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in a minute, in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Dick! Astral Plane. Compiled by Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research by Order of Not Available. Examination of Paranatural Topics, the Astral Plane and Objects of Power. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, my predecessor Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Junjian archetypes and the collective unconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Refer to file 6326498 for full report. Astral Plane Counter Essay, compiled by Dr. Emily Pope, 
Research Specialist by Order of Not Available. Alternate Perspective, Objects of Power and Their Astral Connection. Summary, Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or group of entities that have we have little information excuse me little information on or little that i am allowed to access excuse me <coughs> in his written report he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power the redacted and the astral plane and the oldest house itself his work supposes these links are innate a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon i'm assuming in this one the first two redacteds are the board so let me let me double check here dr darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the board an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that i am allowed to access in his written report he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power the board the astral plane and the oldest house itself his work supports these links as innate a fact ingrained into the very nature of objects uh such as the hotline or the service weapon that makes sense to me. I don't know if that's right or not. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the board, but had connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct connection with the board? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline would result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the board is a natural fact and not something more redacted? Refer to file 623-9382 for full report. Oh, we've still got more. Resonance Theory. Compiled by Dr. Casper Darling, head of research by order of not available. Utilization of paranatural elements, resonance, confidential. Summary. Resonance, it's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? Redacted, open the door to a redacted. I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common redacted that we have yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Refer to final redacted for full report. Hedron Residence Amplifiers open the door to a resident to a, a an entity I've called Hedron. Or maybe the slide projector opened a door to a residence I've called Hedron. The Hedron emits a force that is far beyond the forces we previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I've that I have to wonder. Is residence a key element to all altered phenomena? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common residence that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else could the cor correct frequency allow us to achieve? Interesting. I might start theorizing what the redacted stuff is because I'm starting to get clues and it might be worth doing or it might be complete bullshit. We'll see. Hedron sounds like a scary thing to mess with. I agree. I agree. We we saw a reference to Hedron, or rather Emily found a reference to Hedron in uh, in a previous work log, but we don't really know what it is. I'm avoiding the areas that oh fuck that take us elsewhere. There was one in maintenance too. Uh, I'm avoiding dimensional research for the minute because I have a feeling we're going to need to go there. Most of the rooms like that, I suspect, will be going to in the main story. I don't want to do that too quickly. No. But there's a down we can take a look at. Avoiding the old fuck area sounds like a good survival strategy. Avoiding the old fuck area is for now, Birchmila. Hashtag for now. Parapsychology is where we need to go next. I don't want to do that yet, though. Let's go down here first. Because there might be lore. 
Here's a real stupid question. Can I pick up an entire vending machine? No. No, I cannot. Okay. What the fuck? Play that back. I hit a full vending machine with the thing. It sparked and the light went out and most of the stuff went away. Now you could call that coding. You could call that world state changing, but this is the oldest house. Are the pistachios a lie? Oh no. So Squeaky says, I believe Hedron refers to the shapes you had screenshotted, kid, since the noun Hedron refers to, uh, refers, denotes geometric solids, uh, having a specified number of plane faces. The term sounded familiar. Maybe. Maybe. Fly all over here. Hubert, Black Rock Analysis. To C. Vaughn from H. Tan, Hubert Tan, I assume. Subject Black Rock Sample Analysis. Hi, Carla. Carla Vaughn, Hubert Tan. Okay. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong. Be today in the lab. But it's always great to... And plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh, yeah. I finished the comparative analysis of the two Black Rock samples you sent. The prism, or whatever you called it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy pneumatic device... A mnemonic device, right? Haha. <laughs> Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data, I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks, or dinner even. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime? I'm free tomorrow. All the best, Hubert. Not the most eloquent way to ask someone out, Hubert, but then again, you are a science nerd, so you can be forgiven for being awkward. What does that say? For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? Dr. Theodore Ash. You guys want to talk about a raw fucking line? Good God. Step up your game, Zachariah Trench. Theodore Ash just won the top spot in this game. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? Holy shit. Ho 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 ho. Okay. Game raised. Wow. Deemed is the kicker right there, right, Brightwind? That's a good line. What the dicks? Blessed toilets. Okay, sure. Corner stall thingy? What? Corner stall thingy. I do not see. Uh, I guess you with the host. You to join me. I don't see anything, bright one. Interesting that there's no mirrors in here. I would not trust a mirror in this place. Just saying. What was the purple and green thing on the floor of the stall? A toolbox, it looked like. So what's up with the blessed toilets in here? In before hiss. Just really good lighting, okay, sure. Oh, oh. I found a chest. That's why you always check the bathrooms, friends. This is where all the toilet paper went to Sir, Sir Squeaky. Yes. I 
I still can't get over the fucking redwoods. Parapsychology above, Dr. Darling's office very above, dimensional research very above, cafeteria over that way. Cool. That is a dead person. All right. Let's check the shelter first. Always check the bathroom with bright wind, absolutely. Statistically, they will have more loot than any other room in a game like this. Always check them. Doesn't that look like a thing to y'all? Hang on. Eh. Guess not. Okay. Brentwood says, if we do another Minecraft world, I'm going to make a base with a redwood tree to the center. Oi. Oi. Have fun, Brightwind. There's more down here to look at. Winter Viking says, a mirror in this building would probably end up as a portal, so not the best idea to add them. Absolutely agreed. Lab number one. What happens if I, like, take out Big Brother? Nothing. Good to know. A mirror could end up as an OOP, so so save your gaming. Yeah. What the fuck? Song questionnaire. Well. Auditory experience, 84 point C, Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Did the song in elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what? Did a clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what do they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose one from each of the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. What? Poets of the Fall was an actual band. Like, Poets of the Fall exists. This is the lyrics to Dark Disquiet. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, it's muted because it's copyrighted. Okay, cool. It's nice that that's in the game, but like... I'm not going to play it, because it's copyrighted, but interesting. Winter Breaking says maybe the redwood trees got there when the shark building shift happened. Maybe, but they look like they're there on purpose. Labs 2 and 3 are blocked off for some reason. That's that gross stuff. We're not going that way yet. Enderbender says I wouldn't be surprised if there was already a mirror object of power, to be honest. Same. There's something over to the right. What's over here? It's blocked off. Can I get in? No. Threshold utility. Threshold Utility, compiled by Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research, by order of no one. Utilization of Paranatural Elements Threshold Summary Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great cha challenge. Excuse me. When a new threshold manifests in the old tiles by redacted, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau. We m but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. 
The quarry brought black rock, one of our most invaluable discoveries. But if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to fighting back that particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Refer to file 594-1284 for full report. We keep seeing references to the mold. We can't do anything about it, though. All right, guess we're going to parapsychology next. Maybe we'll get the thing in parapsychology. Let's see. Parapsychology. Let's go shotgun mode just in case. Clearance level three required. Thank you, Miss Pope. Shit. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Guess we're going this way. Parakinesiology. Oh, shit balls. What's up? Get wrecked. The dude in the corner who's still alive. Like a jerk. There's a guy on my left. No. Jeez. More, all right. Ack. I was hoping I could grab that out of the air, but my launch wasn't charged. We're done. There's a his bro in there. Can't hit him. Floating table in there. That room is blocked off because there is death. Your distance from the glass. Keep your distance from the glass. There's another his bro in there. Emergency call supplement. Okay. This is the same thing from Darling's Lab. Which could mean that it's it's a repeated set piece, or it could mean that it's relevant to what Darling was researching. Emergency call summary. Here we go. ID AWEA 18, event date 06 17 not, uh, event location not available. Event summary. A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via phone line. Oh, sorry. We want the supplement, not the summary. My bad, guys. My bad. ID AWE 18, event date 06 17 1993, event date, event location not available. Details Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher 911, what's your emergency? Voice Hello, hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, dispatcher, I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Voice I'm, uh, inside the wires. I'm lost. Uh, dispatcher, ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? Voice, I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Uh, dispatcher, go where, ma'am? Uh, voice, go, gone, away. Dispatcher, okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am, hello, ma'am? Note, dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Uh-oh. Astral Exhibition. That sounds 
terrible. Mannequins? Oh, no, 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 no. Ozzy's been here. Cool. I ain't dealing with mannequins, friends. I guess I have to, huh? All right. In we go. Introduction to paranatural topics. Is that all there is to that? Because I don't believe it. The astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless Sometimes these have extra stuff, that's why I'm doing this. The Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. There's a control point here, which is useful. The question is why? Okay, then. Astral Exhibition. What is this? Compiled by Dr. Casper Garling, Head of Research. Processes and Best Practices. Astral Plane Exhibition. Summary. The Astral Ex Exhibition was originally built by the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. Okay. However, once we discovered the Redacted, we, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Redacted's behavior in an, environmental sim in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 319-3811 for full report. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Astral Spike? So you found a creature? What the dicks? We'll watch the full thing on our side. Astral Spike. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. 
We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. So what I'm hearing is balls fight. Okay. Balls fight. What the fuck? I can't believe they keep that thing here. Oh, good. Okay. Well, whatever that is, it's bad news bears, and we're apparently going in with it. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go, friends. Seal that back up. Flashing lights are bullshit. Let's see the power cord. Boop. Boop, Jesse. I'm sorry about the flashing lights, friends. Can't get that? Okay. Go in here. Come and get me. Come and get me, fuck boy. Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nope, I'm dead. Haha, <laughs> rip. Oh, I missed it. So we want to keep this open. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, in here. Come in here. Bye. Got him. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Causing a ruckus, apparently. Ooh, we can blow this out. Two? Guess not. Okay. Sorry about the flashing lights, friends. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. What's up? Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. I don't like. 
like that, whatever that is, that's gonna die first. Cool. Hack! Damn nation! Somebody's a hot shot. Damn. Wow, those track. The scariest enemy is the unknown one. Yes, indeed. So we gave me a, a good new codex entry with those clusters? Maybe. Maybe. If there's no quick saving in this game, unfortunately, Braylon. 15 for that death, please, keepers. Mm. Now, this game has been really good about saving our progress, despite the, uh... Despite the cutscenes. So... Yeah, the thing is sealed up. Good. Okay, great. Thank you, Remedy. Remedy understands that I am bad at video games and seeks to help me out. I appreciate it. Cool. Say hello to me. Or am I coming up there? Because I can do that. Oh shit! Hello? Come on, I know you're up there. I need to get up there and deal with him. I guess this side? There's so much to see here. We'll have to look at it when we're done. Oh, here we go. Yoink. Hit that guy so hard it called a lag spike. Holy crap. Shoot! I love the way they run. That guy's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Got him. Ow. Rude. No. Another guy? Good lord. That guy. Are we done? No. Stop with the- oh fuck.
Okay. Whip that. Okay. Did I get it? I got it. Good. Okay. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. I didn't have a target. That's on me. Get this control point dealt with, and then we'll go back and look in that whole area. Get out of here, Hiss. Nobody likes you. I sure as hell don't. Falling back to the luck department. Well, Savior, you got your, uh, you got your wish. We're gonna find out how you research luck. But first, we need to see if there's any loot in this area. Also, the hiss barriers are down, so we can go into these, uh, these two side rooms that were blocked off. Let's start here. Hypnosis lab. Oh, good! Hypnosis lab. All right. What the ding-dong dicks? They're not his. I see it. Another object of power? A captive audience. standing there. Mesmerized by it. Okay. What? Go in here first. Savior Gaming says, please don't hypnotize your viewers. I couldn't if I tried. Astronaut's information. His cluster. Oh, good. Compiled by Emily Pope, research specialist by order of director Jesse Faden. Field research on his entity, his cluster. Confidential summary. His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing host his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Refer to file redacted for full report. The hiss version of a medic, exactly. Astronaut's information, this is what I wanted. Compiled by Dr. Bethany Harrington, Parapsychology Department Chief, by order of Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Processes and Best Practices Astronaut Program. Summary. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box, see case file OOP18 for details, in the hypnosis lab, a section of this parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. After each dives, astronauts must go a, a debriefing, I assume, session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experiences in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that redacted, redacted within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Refer to file 829-1838 for full report. Okay. What? Control unit... Control unit locked. Uh, okay. So there's three spaces in any direction. It looks like the chart. Yeah, so what was the good shape in the chart? The good shape in the chart was... Then, wait. No. 
was that? Wasn't there two circles? Yes, there was. That was one of them. The other one was just the wall was filled in. But there's no way to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Unless I have this backwards. And it's this. No, that's not right. It would be... No, that, that's not right either. Hmm. Savior Gaming says, Call me crazy, but you might have to unlock that other one. Yeah. The problem is I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing the ones that are circled, and that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Hmm. Maybe you need to do one of the circled ones, then back out? Maybe. Which would be... That. Back out. No, that didn't do anything. Push a button? I don't see a button to push. Hmm. There's this, but... Never says, well, that's blatantly fun. What's up? Did he get on that particular variant? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can't make the other shape. Treshker says, oh. What's up, Burb? You thinking we have it backwards? Hang on. I'm gonna try something for science. That's the other shape. But that doesn't do anything either. Kit, you need to know I want to keep trying. By all means, Savior, what do you got? Let me reset this.
What do you got, Savior? By all means, hit us up. Because doing the circle shapes did not work. That's one of the shapes, sort of. Look at the white paper stuck on the wall, upper right in the interface. You have to replicate that. Upper right of the... Oh! Which would be that. Okay. Did I not do it? Uh. Huh. Unless it's. Yeah, you guys are talking about the one in the background. I'm working on it. Hang on. Is it not that? Is it not that shape right there? You guys are talking about the one through the window in the upright. Is it not this shape? It's not doing anything. Is it not that? Thin ring? I think the perimeter is half width. Aha! Well done, chat. Well done, friends. Well, what did that do? Oh. Here we go. I'm gonna go back into that room and make sure we didn't miss something. Well spotted, chat. Well spotted. Open this door. Cool. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, astronaut, first class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Okay, that's super cool. To the astral plane we go. Use C's to complete the astral challenge. Seeds? Okay. What is seeds? Golden copy NPC variation. Okay. Golden enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Find another way to defeat the enemy. Okay. Oh! A thing popped up. Low health enemies can be seized. Well, if I don't kill them outright. Old Canuck says, I hope this is exciting. I wouldn't want it to be astral plane. Nice. Excuse? That's the gold boy. Enemies at low health can be seized. Yeah, the problem is my gun is apparently strong. 
Here we go. Bonk. Seize yourself. Cool. Seize the enemies will fight alongside Jesse. Nice. Doop. Seize yourself. Sick em, boys. Seize yourself, fool. <laughs> you will serve the war effort. Boop. Good luck on the venture, everybody. Brentman's heading out. Seize yourself, fool! Oh, bit late on that potion, unfortunately, Star Dancer. But you will get bonus XP for completing this quest, so that's still good. Dunk! Seize yourself, fool! Gaming says no. You will you will serve the Kitsune Bard. Yes, correct. Dusted. The potion was unfortunately too late. Yes. Where do I go? Where'd you go? I go... Ah, I go there. Let's go. Captive audience complete! 50 XP. We probably got some stuff for that. We did. X-ray light box. X-ray light box, OOP18PE, acquisition date 0901 2003. Containment location, Parapsychology Department Research Sector. X-ray light box, containment procedure, no unique procedures needed. Description, periutility. The object is a light box used to examine X-ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named Redacted. The object allows periutilitarians to forcefully seize an individual's re, uh, redacted. The seized individual becomes redacted to the user. The effect lasts redacted. Once released, the seized re redacted as a result of the psychic trauma. This object has no current binder. Background. A janitor named Redacted bound the object at St. Anne's Hospital in Redacted. Soon, the building's occupants were redacted by him. The Bureau's dispatch... The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team to Redacted, Redacted the perpetrator, and Redacted the item. Fatalities numbered in the Redacted. For operational details, see Case 26HQ452. And then we got that Astral Not Liability uh, recording. We're all good. Okay. Their brains were fried when I took over the Hey, Nalvor, welcome in. Isn't that 100 XP because of the potion? Yes, it is. It's 100 XP because of the potion for that. The potion still takes effect, just not for the venture. So, yes, it should have been 100 XP for that. My bad. Savior is exactly right. Okay. So, then we have this area over here. Can we just talk about these chairs that I just noticed? I thought these were computers. They are... That's some Matrix shit, is what that is. Ugh. Gross. Don't like it. Don't want it. Nope. Nalfor says, so, SCP? Everybody keeps saying that, and my response is still, no. It's not. It's its own thing. It draws on SCP. It draws on X-Files. It draws on Warehouse uh, 13. It draws on all kinds of different media, 
and calling it an SCP game is flatly unfair. And I'm gonna keep saying it. Recording Chair Procedures, Federal Bureau of Control. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened to their chair. Ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the recording se the record sessions. Wait. During the record process, pardon me, which can lower the quality of captured, captured footage. They also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some out that some consider upsetting. Three, check if the volunteer is comfortable. Four, activate the recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. And start answer winning the venture. Well done. Now, Vor says, I gotcha. To be fair, I have never seen or heard the word redacted used before reading SCPs. With all due respect, they didn't invent it. Civic Gaming says, so let's see. We can throw the environment at enemies, make a shield out of the environment, and now control micro enemies to fight for us. Yes. Correct. Extra sensory lab. ESP. Ooh. And for the record, Nelvor, I'm not cross with you. I've just, I've been getting that a lot for this game, and it's like, is this game called SCP Control? No. Then it should be treated as its own thing. Like, anyway. Nelvor says, I'm digging the bright colored walls, reminds me of Mirror's Edge. A bit. I can see that. I feel like I missed this. I don't even know what I picked up because I was looking at chat. What did I pick up? What did I pick up, chat? Unstable area notice? No. What did I pick up, chat? You picked up sensory tank purpose. Thank you, Ender Vendor. Got it. Federal Bureau of Control, Darling here. Some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of Dr. Yoshimi Tok uh, Tokui, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently, his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine and hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. Tokui's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there might be some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from, from some time in a dark and closed space, don't you? If you have any questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. Thank you, Enderbender. This is why Twitch chat is so helpful. Because when the streamer misses a thing, what the fuck? That looks important. It's simple enough to be easily read. That looks very important. Would somebody mind grabbing a screenshot of that just in case? Never know what you're going to need in here. We don't want to miss out on a secret. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got it, says right here. Great, thank you. 
Now for says Zenner cards, commonly used for testing ESP. I know about the cards thing, but I didn't know they were called Zenner cards. That's cool. Okay. Dr. Tokui investigation. Tokui. Uh, research and records. Here we go. Compiled by Lisa Keenum, special agent by order of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Official findings report regarding Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. Dr. Yoshimi Kotoi, uh, Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. Due to his unusually swift rise to fame, along with reports of vivid hallucinations accompanying the use of his tapes, investigation sector staff were asked to look into Dr. Takoi's background. We found no past incident of any altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported uh, hallucinations when hearing Dr. Takoi speak. We recommend that research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Takoi's voice and perform any and all relevant analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine next steps regarding Dr. Takoi, as well as his eligibility for the Prime Candidate Program. Refer to file 7429633 for full report. Okay. Oh! Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Let's go. Now, Force says, I didn't know the name of them either. I figured I'd find the real name rather than just calling them the cards from the beginning of Ghostbusters. Well, first of all, thank you for doing the legwork because other people, like myself, might not have known. Anytime somebody can provide information for chat and help the overall learning process, that is to be commended. And second of all, it's interesting that they're called Zenner cards. Obviously designed by someone surnamed Zenner, but... Given their popularity, I find that interesting. Can I click the thing? No, I cannot. Okay. New mission, Dr. Yoshimi Tokoi's guided imagery experience. What? Find the tape taken by Dr. Dar Dr. Darling. Find the tape taken to the ritual office. Side quest get, apparently. Okay. What? Dr. Takui tapes. Good news. The Dr. Takui tapes arrived this week. Finally, you really should have used same-day shipping. I sent them out to Dr. Darling and Dr. Harrington to check out before we begin series examination. If you need them right away, I checked Dr. Darling's room and the ritual office. Can't wait to start testing Dr. Yoshimi Takui's famous guided imagery experience. Alrighty. Ayumi says, <laughs> Ritual Office is not ominous sounding. I cannot wait to go to the Ritual Office. That sounds awesome. Can't go in there, unfortunately. Bright One says, Is Zenner a reference to a thing or a person? I believe Zenner is a surname. The guy who made the... Or potentially the lady. Or non-binary pal, besides. The individual who originally made the cards to test ESP. Is Zenner, apparently. Now versus designed by perceptual psychologist Carl Zenner of the Federal Bureau of Control. Ooh, bunch of stuff over here. Chest do. I'm waiting for the luck and probability area. Same. Group think. This should be good. Compiled by Paula Bront, researcher, by order of Emily Pope, research specialist. Utilization of paranatural elements rethinking groupthink. Summary. This study extends the works of Irvine Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. 
To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon the Ashes original conformity experiments using a tele telepathic individual as a subject. See experiments redacted for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments were was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in redacted. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentations on the mind, including manipulation of redacted and redacted. Refer to file 318 and 2849 for full report. That's one of the ones that I wish they didn't redact. Most of these I'm just like, oh, that's cute. But that one, I'm like, I want that. Give me that file immediately. Miss Pope, I want more pictures of Spider-Man on my desk immediately. Or no, wait, sorry. I want the group thank uh, report on my desk as soon as you can, please. Thank you. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> we, already can, we already cleansed this. We're heading down here. There's an elevator, parapsychology elevator, and then this is back where we entered this area. Okay, so we want to go here. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on, I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Yep, for sure. More of you? Fuck really? me. Oh god. Seize yourself, fool. Run. Shields up. Wait, wrong button. Shields up. <laughs> Donk. Donk. Can I take your hat, sir? Got him. I needed to think of a good one liner for that one. Sorry. What does that say? Personal mods full. Ooh. All right, let's see. Energy recovery speed. So we've got better, so we can get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We've already got one of these. Most of this level one stuff I think we can get rid of. There we go. Do I need to do that over here too? Yeah, I do. Exclusive to pierce, exclusive to shatter, shatter, shatter. Accuracy boost. I'm pretty, I'm decently accurate with it. Damage against armor, plus 30%. Ooh. Don't need two of them. Energy gain from headshots, nah. Damage after a kill. Reload speed, we have better. Damage level one health, we get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Cleared some of that out. Okay. Ah, and now the elevator's here. Perfect. In we go. Save your gaming 19 says nothing says surprise fucker like a load of banelings out of nowhere. You are correct, sir. Oh, the side opened. Marshall is waiting for you in the lunch lab, just down the hall. Understood, but first. Ooh. 
Rubber duck supplement. Did somebody mention a rubber duck earlier? I think they did. Rubber duck A15 uh, A152AE. Acquisition date 0102 2001. Containment location Panopticon. Floor 3, Unit 6. Background. Discovered in the home of Agent Redacted after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent Redacted, the matter was ignored, believing to be the result of the child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that Agent Redacted was bringing known paranormal paranormal materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Redacted has been terminated. Boy. Marshall's eager to speak with you, ma'am. She's just down the hall. So Marshall is down there. Control point. Nice. Cleansed. Abilities. Can I get this yet? No, I cannot. But I can get launch. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Sure. That should be hilarious. Plus 10% shield strength, 5% siege duration. Yep. Grab that to be my friend. Astral Constructs, Weapon Forms, Construct Pierce. Pierce is precise while a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. With a charged shot. So, it's a carbine. I finally have a freaking carbine. Here's zoom boost. Damage against armor. Let's also go here. Go to Pierce. Let's do reload speed, actually. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. That's my baby right there. All right, let's go see what Marshall wants to say. First thing tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had fun. Excuse me while I stretch. With another day of control, I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. <clears throat> if you're new around here, I'd like to take your attention for just a moment, if I may. I am the shop-eyed Kitsune, the teller of tales and the weaver of mysteries, the masked bard. This is the channel that is devoted to lore and storytelling, world-building, role-playing, and discussions of those things. So if that's to your fancy, you're an excellent company here, and I do hope that you enjoyed your time with us. I stream every single day that my health permits me to do so, and apparently my health is a little bit more favorable recently because I was able to force myself to stream today despite being sick. We are rolling with advantage every day in 2020, which is two chances to get to give and stream. We've got video games in the afternoon, currently playing through Control, and something tabletop related in the evening. Providing my health permits and my co-host is prepared, tonight we hit the books and teach you guys how to play various tabletop games, take a look at the books themselves, see... Uh, if we can parse the information contained within, and currently we're undergoing a workshop to build a foundation for everything else on the show. How to roleplay, how to be a better role player, how to world build, how to game master. We're going to define some terms, all kinds of stuff. Tonight, we're going to focus on world building, uh, you know, culture generation, set pieces, quests, and so on. 
Uh, so do stop by for that if you're reminded to do so. If you like tabletop role-playing games, or if you don't know if you like tabletop role-playing games, we would absolutely love to have you. For now, I'm going to get out of here, but when I do, I'll be hosting someone. It's someone who I like, someone who I hope that you all will like, and can spread some of the love that was felt here today over in their channel. And check back here, because I'm always hosting someone, and you might find your new favorite streamer that way. For now, as always, it's time for me to leave you with these parting words. From myself and my keepers to all of you, the regulars, the followers, the newcomers, and the lurkers, whether you're just having a seat by the fire or you've got a running tab at the bar, remember, there's always more stories to tell. And hopefully, I'll see you all in just a little bit as we hit the books, or tomorrow for more control, and a new chapter. Excuse me, good night, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and hope to see, excuse me, see you again soon.